Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. It's been a long time since I've seen you guys watching because we haven't had too much CSK News as of late. So I hope you guys all enjoy today's stories. All of those stories will be time marked down below as always. Let's get into the first story though. Team Immortals fans, please do not worry. It's only a temporary move, but KNG will be going back to Brazil according to this tweet on screen for personal issues. So hopefully not going to last too long. As of right now though, for ESL Pro League matches and any upcoming tournaments they do actually manage to miss, it will be their coach Zach staying in for KNG. Apparently a lot of questions out there as to why Horvey will not be standing in for the team. If you guys do not know, Horvey is a Portuguese player who has stood in for the guys in the past. As of right now, though, playing for Kick Esports, and he does have visa issues. It still seems visa issues are still a thing for some odd reason for esports players, and so that's why Horvey will not be standing in. And instead, the Immortals coach Zach will take KNG's place for the time being. But don't worry, the move is temporary. KNG will be coming back to the Immortals roster. On top of that, many questions out there if the Twins will still be leaving Immortals. I still think so. My inside source says they will be leaving, whether it's during ESL Pro League a lot less likely because of course they're still contract bound and buying them out will take some money to do so but whether it's after ESL Pro League more likely there for sure I still think the twins Hen1 and Lucas1 will leave the Immortals roster and try meet up with FNX. Decay though obviously a CSGO reporter is saying they will stay on the team who knows the timeline guys eventually though I think those twins will leave that's what my inside source does say but bouncing off that for all you Optic fans out there the full Optic roster is now obviously in North America we obviously have Mixwell already there but they've all moved to Chicago for the remainder of the ESL Pro League season obviously you guys can see Adlu, Mattis Boy, and Freiburg and kind of awkwardly decide we do have HS but it's very cool to see these guys finally in North America and they should be there for the remainder of ESL Pro League season as of right now they're number one in North American side of things at 6-0 and oh. obviously kind of an inflated record there I'll talk about that in a minute if you guys want to see more background footage and more inside stuff about these guys I'll link Hector the co-owner of Optic I'll link all of his stuff down below he's actually had a couple vlogs with these guys so far kind of funny to see them outside of their CSGO competitive field kind of awkward to see them on camera right now they're kind of a uh, kind of very timid so if you guys want to see that kind of stuff. I'll link it down below for all of you, but very briefly talking about Optic 6-0 record for ESL Pro League, kind of inflated right now if you realize the teams they have played. Although as of right now, they are on the trend to actually stay uh, you know, in the top half. They will probably qualify for the Pro League playoffs, and afterwards they'll go back to Europe. Who knows once they're in Europe if Hector will buy them a house over there, but as of right now, they should be making playoffs. Again, seven to eight weeks still to go, but they are 6-0, but they play teams like Ghost Gaming. Alongside that, teams like Rogue, both very, very broken rosters. Rogue has had several replacements over there. Ghost Gaming disbanded and then got back together and then last night they 2 0 Complexity. Complexity definitely not a top tier team especially in North America so as we see the guys kind of progress it can be cool to see in the future how well they do so best of luck to Optic Gaming and all that stuff will be linked down below for all of you. Even more importantly though a very cool story here brought to you by Joshua and Hassan otherwise known as Steel obviously the ex I buy power member out there who's giving back an immense amount to the community that people didn't even know about. I certainly did not know about this. I'm not sure many people did in a Reflections episode last night with Thorne. I'll link that video down below as well. Many of you guys know Thorne a great CSGO analyst out there who has actually blocked me on Twitter, but none, nonetheless, none, actually does not take away from what Josh has done, actually giving over $20,000 back to charity so far just through Rank S winnings. It's really cool to see that, and also kind of a brief announcement. This is very inspiring, guys. I'll link his Twitch channel down below if you guys want to watch Steel play some CSGO, a very good YouTuber as well as a streamer out there on the CSGO scene. But on top of that, kind of inspiring because in the next few months, not, not necessarily in the near future, but I've actually been trying to plan this out with my dad. I'm trying to announce and kind of organize a charity event of my own on these CSGO videos where I know you guys are very willing to give back to charity. So in the next few months, guys, hopefully by December sometime, I'll be setting up a new charity, uh, not really a charity foundation of my own, helping out cancer research though. So hopefully look out for that guys in the near future. And congrats to Josh. Giving back $20,000 to charity is an immense amount. And so that's really kind of cool to see. And unfortunately, bouncing from the good news to kind of a uh, kind of a sad event as well, this past weekend, DreamHack Malmo did conclude. Many of you guys saw G2, the French super team, finally come together and win an event. Coincidentally though, and kind of unfortunately, we did a body tweet out this as well. Apparently his grandfather did pass away just after the tournament did conclude. So I guess it was cool to see G2 do this, but it was really cool to see the community response to this tweet as well. The amount of feelings and prayers hopefully going his way. So unfortunately his, his grandfather did pass away and prayers go out to you, body, but a great performance as well throughout that tournament. And very last for today's episode of CSGO News, welcome back. Nothing to the CSGO scene. Not competitive though. He will be on the analyst desk though. Really kind of cool to see the lineup here on screen for all of you for ESL New York, which is our next big upcoming CSGO tournament on the 16th of September. Of course, there are tournaments in between now and then as well as afterwards as well but ESL New York will be the biggest one this month as well and it's kind of going to happen in about 10 days time by the time you guys actually watch this video it's going to be really cool to see how nothing does he has been an analyst in the past it's going to be cool to see him back though finally as well on top of that guys my next video you guys see on the CSGO News channel will be actually my final captive video of my investing a thousand dollars in a CSGO major I want to show all of you guys how much money I made and how you guys can make money as well that'll be the next video hopefully out tomorrow in a couple days and I need you guys support on that video it should be a great one hope you guys all enjoy watching that 
that. As well as I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. If you guys did, please leave a like or comment down below. I will see you guys all in a couple days. And uh, as always, that was the outro. So I'm going to go. All right, bye. Bye.